how to create a drop down menu in Google Sites. Hello, guys, and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create a drop down menu into your Google Site. So, you're going to head over to sites.google.com, sign in for our Google account, and then we're going to see the sites dashboard. Select the website that you want to proceed with it, and here you go. Now, I'm going to show you an example of the uh, specific drop down menu. If you're going to have a, a adventure or the cover as something like that, you can have the menu at the upper left or the upper right side of the screen on the header. So you're going to have something like that. And as you can see, we have the drop down arrow. So that means that we are going to have a menu in here because it is going to be created as a page. So what I am going to do to be able to have this type of drop down menu in our menu is going to head over the right side of the editor, click on pages. And from here, we're going to have the uh, menu navigation. So we're going to add, for example, a um, new link or a new page like these, and then we can go ahead and have them like that. So I'm going to detach that page from here. And as you can see, we have the uh, drop down menu gone. Now how we can create a drop down menu again for, for example, this test. So I'm going to have this test uh, renamed. So let's have it just like that. So drop down like that. I'm going to have it as a drop down and I'm going to have this FD as a sub menu for this. So to create the drop down, I'm going to press or click and press the uh, page that we want or the link that we want to implement and take it just like that. As you can see, it is going to be movable. I'm going to put it inside the uh, page or the um, let's say here signified one in here. So I'm going to have it like that until it is going to be bordered like this. And I have created, as you can see, a drop down. I can do go ahead and do the same thing for having this one just like that. This is a, going to be drop down for three, uh, as you can see, elements. Also, I can go ahead and create a drop down or a sub menu for a drop down. Something like that. I can go ahead and have this and also have some of the drop down of the drop downs. To detach everything, I can go ahead and have everything uh, in order by removing them and uh, having them right away uh, outside of the drop down menu, just like that. And here you go. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.